Well, my friends, my cart is even thinner on tools, as you can see. So we're down to the we're down to the bare bones now. As you can see, what I'm gonna do on this video now is do the best of the rest of what I have left. As you can see, I've got a set of screwdrivers right here. These, this video is specifically going to go with the tools that I have left that I actually paid for. <laughs> because a lot of this stuff that's left in here is stuff that I've found over the years. But there's just a few things left here that I've actually bought. And I'm going to put that in this video. So there's a set of screwdrivers right there. I actually have a set of clip plug clip the uh, things right here i'll pull them out real quick so i got that set right there got a set of screwdrivers uh these right here oh this i think that's about it in there that i've bought well yeah this set here I bought them. And then down in here, I think I got these uh, Huskies, this Husky stuff here. Oh, and then this here I bought. As you can see, I still got the box for it. These I bought, but I'm not going to put them in a video. That's just, that's just brushes. You can buy them anywhere. I might have gotten them at Harbor Freight, maybe, possibly. It's hard to say. But yeah, there's nothing in there. Then down here, I've got uh, my Husky Ratchet and some brushes. Brushes I used here a while back on that frame when I painted the frame. But I got them at Menards, but that's, that's nothing important. The rest of the stuff's just consumables. This rubber mallet, I do not remember where I got that. <laughs> I do remember where that come from. But anyways, that's down the bottom. I don't think there's much. I got a couple handles down here, a couple extra wooden handles. The rest of that stuff's consumables, but for the most part, yeah, this is what this is what's left in here. So I'm going to take these in the house and show you what I got. Okay, there's the best of the rest of what I have left in my cart. So uh, yeah, get into this. You know, this stuff come from uh, Home Depot. I bought both of these during their uh, Black Friday sales. I think I picked that up for sixty bucks. I picked these up for 20 bucks, and then these right here, I, th I think I got them at Menards, I think it was. It might have been, might have been a Menards set, could have been a Harbor Freight set, I thought I'd throw these in there, i pay for them. I got this uh, Job Smart inch and 7 16 inch uh, wrench, because that's what I use to take off fan, fans, fan clutches off on vehicles. I just use that and hit it with a hammer on the end and pick that up at TSC. It might have been 10, 20 bucks I picked that up for. And then I needed a pilot bearing a tool. I picked that up at, uh, might have been Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone or one of them. I picked that up at. And then this other stuff, I needed a one inch deep socket one time. I think I was doing a sensor on a vehicle, needed a one inch socket, so I just went to Menards and picked that up. I was doing a intake on a Ford Explorer. I needed a long Torx bit. Picked that up at Menards. And then I was doing a spark plug in a vehicle one time here a while back in a, a Dodge Dakota. And that's why I picked this one up. I think I got that at Lowe's. And then I needed a 7mm wrench at the spur of the moment. And picked that up. And then these I think I got at Menards. This uh, kit here, these these are, um, yeah, magnetic bit drivers. And I, I got them at Menards. They had them on sale at Menards once. A couple bucks a piece. Uh, this these set here I picked up through uh, Rock Auto. I had them sent from Rock Auto. This set is, a, as you can see, I've used and abused them pretty good. Them are channel locks. Channel lock brand screwdrivers. I picked them up Menards. I got I do believe I had two sets of these and I think I still have the other set. I think it's out at the house. I'm not positive. 
But if it, if I don't, if they if they're missing, well, I don't have them anymore. But that's what I have left of that set of them of the uh, channel lock. I think they called them blue blue something is what they called them. And then this is a for a Ford Explorer to put transmission fluid in Explorer. I had those. I actually flagged down a Snap On guy to see if. Snap-on had a adapter for this and he had he ended up ordering it for me and that's how I got it through the snap-on dealer and then these this little three-piece set For your drill I picked for your uh, impact driver. I picked them up at Menards. I think it was I think these are just extras that came with kits along the way somewhere or another but yeah, okay, there's <laughs> there's the best of the rest of what I bought it's in my tool cart. I probably got what? I got uh, maybe a hundred. Uh, uh, roughly about two, about two hundred, hundred fifty to two hundred dollars worth of stuff there. That's in my cart. So there's the rest of the best of what I have left in my cart. Now the rest that's in my cart is, is stuff that I've actually found over the years. That I just threw in my cart just to have in the cart. So. uh I think I'll do another video on that, and I'll be done with the tools that's in my cart. So, yeah, guys, if you liked all these uh, videos I've been doing with these tools that's in my cart, my tool cart, <laughs> just think, all these tools I've been showing here are all in a four-drawer Harbor Freight tool cart. So, yeah, it's Pat Clear full of crap. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, few videos that I've done. And uh, give me some comments and likes, shares, subscribe. At least give me some subscriptions if you do watch it. That'd be nice. <laughs> but anyways, there's the rest of what I got in my tool cart. Like I said, I'll do one more video. The stragglers that's left in my cart. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Nothing but nothing but what I get.